Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of Allah today I am here from Labib and Jaffi Steak and today I am here for class 7 English version students and also Bangalore version students so dear students today our topic is summative assignment 2023 and today our subject is English so let's go through the steps so dear students I am going to discuss about the works you have to do for the summative assignment 2023 and this is day 1 and for the timeline for day 1 is 90 minute or 2 consecutive classes so here is a first task so this is for 40 minutes so let's see the task firstly in session 1 student will engage in developing an outline of a story in groups they will discuss and generate ideas on the characters setting, plot, dialogues on the chosen theme. Later, the students will develop a storyline individually. So, dear students, your work is to make a title of a story or an outline and you have to work in a groups and you have to generate ideas or discuss about the characters, setting, plot, incidents, discussions, dialogues on the theme. And you can choose any kind of theme, for example, horror, adventures, etc. So, let's see the next topic. So, this is the instructions for the teachers. This is not for you. The students, the following instruction you have to follow. Number one, work in groups of four or five. So, you have to work in a groups four or five. You cannot work less than in a four or more than five. So you have to you must have to take notes for further use otherwise you may forget what you have discussed now the third point decide the genre or the topic for example story play comic strip that they follow if fo follow during their writing decide on the characters settings plots related to their storyline so you must discuss about the characters Incidents you will write in the storyline of the comic. So choose names for each character and decide on the relationship among them. So students, you must choose some unique names for your story, and you must decide what should be the relationship between each of the characters. Decide on the end of the story. So at first you have to decide what will happen at the last of the story and what will be the morality of the story. Discuss and write the dialogues the characters will tell to each other in the story. So you must write the dialogues. Yeah. One, one student from your group may write the dialogue or two, but not all the should, students should write the dialogues. Now, the second last point. Arrange the dialogues with the plot of the story. So you must arrange the dialogue perfectly. Otherwise, it will create a mess. And finally, check on every detail of the story. So at last, you have to revise the story before you submit it to your, to your teacher. So students, I have now discussed about the first task. Now let's discuss about the second task, task 2. And this is for 40 minutes. And before this, you have to take a 10 minute break. And in this session, the students will take a look at the outline of the story they decided in session 1 so you have to revise again about the title of the story you have made in the last task and write the storyline using the outline individually now you have to do individual work and you have to write the storyline using the outline and the third point use or draw pictures if they think is needed so you may draw or use any kind of pictures you have downloaded at found or found in the internet and also you may draw some pictures for your story raise hands if they need any help so you may raise hands if you need any help or assistance from your respective teacher now say, say next point check the proper use of grammar points so this is a very important point you must check is there any grammar mistakes or not or uh, this may mess make a mess in the story do necessary edits and make the final copy of the storyline at first you have to make a draft copy of your storyline because there will be a lots of editings and cuttings in the story so finally submit the final copy of the storyline to the teacher so at last 
you have to submit a final copy to your respective teacher so dear students our first day is complete now we'll go through day two and this is for 90 minutes or two consecutive classes so the topic of this task is completing an incomplete comic strip so this the task is the number of tasks is three and this is for only 40 minutes so in this session the students will be exposed to a complete incomplete comp comic strip see the next page so let's see the next page at first the students here is an incomplete comic strip so let's see the comic hi i am so excited that i came a bit earlier how are you by the way hi i am good and excited too it would be fun for sure let's see the others reaction yes we should do it each year of course it's the beginning let's do it each year students the, st the comic is not completed yet so you have to com complete this comic strip now let's see the other steps so here is our, the steps you have to do the first step is divide in groups of four or five plus the last task observe the comic strips carefully so the you have to observe the sample comic strips very carefully and you have to know what is the theme of this comic read the dialogues in the bubbles to understand the comic strips so you have you also need to read the dialogues and understand what's the theme he is talking about discuss who what is are in the comic strips what are they doing and what is the comic strip so you have also need to mark who are the characters in this comic discuss and write the dialogues in the bank blank dialogue bubbles in the last two frames complete the comic strip with meaningful dialogues make necessary edits so you have you at first you have to make a draft copy and finally present it in front of the class and ask other groups to share their feedback so you also need to feed take feedbacks from other groups so that's how you will complete this activity and our th task 3 is complete. Now students, this is our fourth task and after taking a 10 minutes to break, you will start the task and this is for 40 minutes. And in this session, you have to work individually, there will be no groups and the teacher will ensure that the students will not copy any of his or her friend's script. Grow through now students, this is your instructions go through the comic strip that you have completed in task 3 again so you have to revise the comic strip you have completed in the third task and infer the meaning of the test especially the blank dialogue bubbles identify which strategy you used to infer the meaning of the words phrases expressions write down the words phrases expressions and strategies that you used to infer their meanings Edit the, edit the grammatical spelling and punctuation errors so you have to edit any kind of grammatical errors in the comic strip and at last you have to submit a final copy of your work to the teacher sorry it will be this is not group work this is an individual work this is already mentioned in the first point so this is not a group work so students our fourth task discussion is complete now let's go through our next task so students for the last task I have discussed you have to make a chart like this to submit the final copy of your answer so here you have to write your name here class and section and role and subject will be English and you have to write the words phrases expressions you have identified from the comic strip and you have to write the strategy you have used to infer the meanings of those words or phrases or expressions this is how we will submit the submitted assignment for this task now let's go through our next task so students now we will be going through day three and this is for 180 minutes or four consecutive classes and this is session number five and this is for 80 minutes so in this session the instructions for the students are number one work in groups of four and five from now you have to work in a group and take notes for further use you have to take notes again for the further use and you have to again go through the comic strip you have done in the third task and you have to identify the theme
characters, settings and plot of the comic strip. Now you have to imagine a storyline using those themes in the comic strip that is given as a sample and imagine two or three characters that you may need for your storyline. Now you have to choose unique names for each of the character and think how these characters are related to each other. So you have to discuss about the relationship between each of the characters. Now discuss and write the dialogues the characters will tell to each other. So you have to discuss with your teammates about the dialogues the characters will say with each other. Now you have to arrange the dialogues with the plot of the story and the theme. And you have to now decide the ending part or the morality of the story. And first of all, you have to decide a title for the story. This is given at the last point, but you have to select it at first. And at last, you have to revise every detail of the story you have made with your teammates. And finally, submit a final copy to your teacher and act out the conversations in front of the class. Now, students. Our session 5 is complete. Now let's go through our task CISP. Ta now you have to take a 10 minutes break then you have to start the 6th task and this is for 80 minutes. And in this session you have to work individually and the teacher will have to ensure that nobody works with others and nobody copy any of, us, of his friends answers. Now reflect on the storyline you have developed in task 5. In the last task you have made a story and you have to revise the storyline again and you have to reflect at characters, settings, theme and the story they have discussed in session 5. Now you have to read the dialogues you have written in task 5 again and you have to write a story using all the features you have decided earlier and you have to edit now the grammatical spelling and punctuation errors and make the final version of your storyline. So you have to think that that was a draft version and you have to now make a final copy of your storyline and write a short note on what central theme, point of view, plot, setting, character, dialogue of your find you find interesting in the storyline. So you have to at last you have to write a short note about what you have find interesting in the storyline and there are some mentioned points like the theme, point of view, plot, setting, character, dialogue. And finally, submit a copy of your group work to the teacher. So dear students, this is our task 6 and this is complete and also our day 3 is also complete. So dear students, this is a summative assignment for class 7 English version and the subject is English. So that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. Don't, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. So that's all. Assalamualaikum.